Why are you screaming at the Jews? Why are you attacking the Jews? Off the road, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Off the road. Thank you. You were told to get off the road. Get off the road. I'm off the road, bro. Why? They're targeting Jews and you're you're pushing me back. This is a public space. We're being threatened here by a car load of. And you try and talk to them. Try and. Why'd you come to the rally? Where are you from? What area are you from? From where? All right, time to go, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Time to go. Time to go. I'm serious, mate. Time to go. Okay. We gave the option. Hang on. What are you going to do? You're going to arrest me? No, mate. I'm telling you to move on. I'm not moving on. Okay, that's fine there, mate. Thank you. You've got a carload of thugs traveling to a Jewish community to intimidate Jews. Just for your own safety. For my own safety. I'm not going to be intimidated by a carload of thugs. On Sunday, the Melbourne Jewish community held a rally in solidarity with Israel. Now, when the peaceful event was announced, two groups took to the internet calling on people to travel to the Jewish neighborhood for the sole purpose of interrupting the event. Antifa organized a counter protest inviting their friends to rally in the same park only meters away. And a woman posted a video on TikTok that went viral inciting jihadis also to head to Corf. <laughs> That was the ISIS anthem playing in the background with the message, you know what to do. So it's no surprise that both groups showed up to interrupt the family-friendly event. And I was there to greet them. First Antifa. They're protesting the thousands that have come here to stand in solidarity with Israel and for peace. These people here, they're not calling for peace. They're calling to wipe Israel off the map. They've just been chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That is calling for the annihilation of the Jewish state, wiping it off the map. When I tried to get a little closer to Antifa, I was stopped. Do you think being here is a provocative move or a smart idea? Or I would love to have a chat with them. but About what? About what they're here for. Yeah, okay. I reckon that opportunity could be brought together later. If we can maybe speak with one of their organisers and pull you aside, we can possibly do that. I don't know how... Um, how cooperative they're going to be. Yeah. So why, you do, why is there so much police around them? To stop them from getting in touch with them. Oh, do, you, do you think they're going to get violent? I Don't hope know. not. They're here for peace. They? That's what they claim. <laughs> they, they, they wouldn't be here. Let's see if they want to spread their message through Rebel News. I have a feeling they're a little bit nervous to talk to me. Now while the police were offering Antifa organisers a chance to chat with us, I noticed a far left-wing journalist, John Saffron, cruising between the groups without any police interference. John, 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 how'd you get on that side? I'm just being a, you know... How'd you get on that side? John? I'm just covering... They, they said that you're only allowed to be on this side or that side, John. How'd you get on that side? John Saffron is the dodgiest guy in town. That was the moment I realised that I must change my tactic. I need to embrace my internal John Saffron. So I sent one of our videographers to sneak across the line and try to chat with Antifa. Where are you with? It's Rebel I'm, I'm working for the media. I'm which working media? for the media. Which media? Though? It's a Canadian media. It's Avi's channel. No, it's not Avi's channel. It's a Canadian media. Avi does stuff on Rebel Media. Man. Avi does. Go. Yeah. You're right. Oh, he probably should have just hidden those credentials. And you're saying it's Canadian? It's a Canadian company paying my time to interview you. It's recording, by the way. He hasn't asked our permission. No, no, no. I'm asking if you want an interview. I don't put it's your face. It's recording. No, but I don't ask. I won't ask questions. I don't ask. I won't ask. I'm asking permission. You're recording no, us without permission. Sure. You're recording us without permission. If you use that footage, I'll sue you. <laughs> if you're going to use that footage, I'm going to sue you. Why do they always threaten that? Here's a tip, guys. It's free for you. If you don't want to be filmed acting like morons in public, then maybe just don't act like morons in public. Anyways, that didn't work. So I waited around to catch them as they dispersed. Yeah. Yeah. You're the one that came here to... This was an event you went, you came to protest. Have your say. I've got a microphone for you. I can amplify your anti-Semitism. I can amplify your self-Jew self -Jew hatred. 
You're a proud Jew, but you stand for the annihilation of a Jewish state. So come and defend it. Why are you here today? I don't seem to want to talk much. I like to shout stuff from across a police line. Here, maybe you. You look lovely today. We're here against Israel. I don't blame her for running away because, really, how can they justify chanting from the river to the sea, i.e. driving the Jewish state into the sea at a rally that was merely calling for peace between two peoples? They can't. Minutes later, though, the other group arrived. Police blocked a car with three men shouting in Arabic and giving ISIS hand gestures from gaining access to the park. Come on! Notice that the driver was wrapped in a kefir, the Palestinian headscarf. Is anyone here scared of that carload that just came by? I stayed around as the crowd headed home to see if anything escalates and I managed to actually find that same car doing laps around the park looking for Jews to attack. But police stopped me from engaging it. Off the road, mate, thank you. Thank you. Off the road, thank you. And it wasn't the only car circling the area on a mission. Mate, where are you from? What area? You're from St. Kilda. You live in St. Saint... What is that? What? Come on, mate. No, I just, just, just wondering why you eat. What, what is that? So you got basically you've got um, you know Arabs from suburbs not Caulfield that have come specifically to the area to try and intimidate Jews who are coming uh, in solidarity for the only Jewish state. If you think this report is important, make sure to share it far and wide because no other news network has exposed those hate groups who targeted the Jewish community in Melbourne this weekend. And maybe it's because they don't have the footage, but even if they do, trust me, they won't do it. So it's up to you to share this story. And then make sure to have your say. Let us know if you support Israel's right to defend herself at israelorhamas.com. Vote now, israelorhamas.com.